Hello guys. It's Amazon day. So, um, these are not new decks. They're definitely new to me. So I thought I would do a quick unboxing of these. Especially because some of them that I saw online when I ordered them had a few issues. So I just wanted to, to open them with you guys to document in case. No, I don't feel like um, I'm gonna have much issue. First, I have the Albino Weight. I had never seen these cards. And one of the guys that I follow on Instagram, Nola Taro, he's out here in New Orleans. What is his name? Jeremy? Jeffrey? I can't remember. But he uses these and I saw his Knight of Pentacles and had a complete fit. I was like, what deck is this? The colors got me. And then I've seen so many people with these and at first I was like, I don't want these. But the more I looked at them, I was like, I kind of really do. But I decided to go with the mini version and that is the Nicoletta Chicoli Tarot. So, without further ado, well, with further ado, um, I'm gonna go grab my child some ice water and then we will unbox these together. Okay, ice water obtained. So, we'll see how long this lasts. I wanna open the Nicoletta first like I knew they were small and I've seen everybody say like, oh, they're like super small, but like <laughs> having them in my hands, like, wow. But I'm still really excited. Like I'm not, I'm like, I'm not mad at it. You know what I mean? I've never looked fully through these. I know that everybody has probably seen this, but I haven't. So <laughs> I've seen bits and pieces and at first, they gave me that vibe of, um, what are those? Um, I won't even go into it because I don't remember what they called. But the girls with the big head and the big eyes. And that's not like my favorite kind of art. Um, I, like I said, I, I, I won't even go into it because I don't know the artist and I don't know which one. I know it's like... There's a bunch of different decks with those same girls. I'm sure one of you know. Feel free to post that below and let me know. Um, so itty bitty white book. I'm sure they don't have uh, much of anything in here, right? Just some basics. Yeah, ace, gifts, opportunities, potential for success. Yeah, just some very, very basic. Yeah. Cause you know, sometimes these little low scarabio, um, little white books will have like, oh, a girl sits with ice cream. You know what I mean? So itty bitty. I like how tall and thin they are. Cause it's literally like a big one made small versus like the square that they do. This is just an empty card. Title card. Oh my goodness. These are super cute, you guys. Cool. I'm just kind of go through just a couple of them. Oh, the Empress is beautiful. I hope you can see these. They are small. Um, the Empress. That's the High Priestess. Silly, silly. This is the Empress. I like her too. These seem like they are going to be a lot. Oh. I believe it was Simon who had showed this one and was talking about the Hierophant in it. It might have been Simon. Um, but I know he's got it, and, and he was the first person I saw with this deck. Um, yeah, this is a very interesting Hierophant there. Oh my goodness. Like, there are so many things to draw off 
on these. I'm excited to play with these. Um, but just at first glance, I feel like I might eventually get the big one. Like, I didn't want to spend the money on the big one and get that one if I ended up not liking it. This cost me, like, eight bucks, y'all. Eight bucks. Oh, I love this. Oh, it's like Snow White and the Seven Dwarves for that. Oh. Yeah, so these are all new to me. But, yeah, like, I, I wasn't sure if I would, like vibe well with this artwork but the more I kept like seeing little pictures of it I was like you know what I think I just want to give it a shot and it popped up on my you might like <laughs> on Amazon you know the stuff that makes you impulsively buy shit that you don't need um it popped up and I was like you know what eight bucks I won't feel bad I'm sure if I don't like it it'll be a deck that will easily be traded or you know bought but I can't lie, I'm kind of digging it. See, it was these things that I was kind of worried about where it looks very much like, um, how do I describe, like a baby's playroom, but like a baby baby, like the blocks, the pastels, the balls. And like, I just wasn't sure if I could find a connection there just because it was so pastel and stuff but man I'm definitely rethinking this <laughs> this is gorgeous this is absolutely gorgeous you guys the bees the bees how lovely for the world all in this little snow globe. But this is a great one to carry around. I'm not gonna go through, like I said, them all, maybe just some that stand out, this Three of Cups. Oh my. See, this is the one that I saw, this Five of Cups, that made me think, mm, maybe I want it. <laughs> Cause it popped up, um, like I said, on Amazon. And I was like, I might have to give it a try. And I'm really glad I did. Alice, I love me some Alice, you guys. Oh my gosh, I really like this Eight of Cups as well. Oh wow. The Queen. Of cups. That's my girl, y'all. I keep looking over here. Every every time I set this up, I'm like, this is where I need to look. And it's always opposite. So if I look like a fool, I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, this is interesting. Four of Pentacles. Now, I believe this is art that was put into the tarot. Y'all know I love stuff like that. John Bauer, um, Tarot, well, I mean, you could say the Tarot Mucha, Mucha, however you say it. That's his art, but like, it was made into Tarot. It wasn't substituted for Tarot. What else do I have like that? John Bauer, oh, my Fairy Lights Tarot and my Tarot of the Secret Garden. Is it the se Secret Forest? Those while not that I know of like famous artwork like it isn't tarot like it wasn't drawn as tarot I don't think I think it's artwork that was put in whatever how neat these are just way more interesting and way more kind of creepy than I thought Look at that. the swan these definitely give you a lot to think about little thing down here that says hate me we have our knight of pentacles very interesting 
Very interesting. Oh, this is beautiful. I really like that. Yeah, this lollipop forest was some of the ones that I was like, eh, maybe not. Oh, I love this eight of wands. That's beautiful. Okay, let me shuffle through to the swords and see what they got. Oh, I like the four of swords. I like the colors. See, they're not as bubble gum as I thought they would be. I mean, with lollipops and blocks and balls, like you just expect a certain level, but this has a, a level of creep to it that I wasn't expecting. Really like the eight. Oh, the nine too. Oh, there's Lennon. <laughs> the girl's hiding, that's crazy. Hi, mommy. Hi, baby. They are little. Look at that. So beautiful. Yeah, that is really cool. You know which one I like? Which one do you like? I like the neck. This. That one looks pretty. That's the back. Okay. So that is the Nicoletta Chicoli. Beautiful, unexpected little deck. I'm really excited about this, you guys. Blowing kisses. Okay, let mama finish, please. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm trying to put this back in the tuck box. Oh, there we go. I was like, it is impossible to get this little thing back in. I think I might really love this, you guys. I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm still looking in the wrong spot. I'm pleasantly surprised. Okay. I'm excited about this, super excited, because I haven't flipped through this whole thing. I've only seen it like bits and pieces on Instagram and stuff, so I'm excited to see these colors. Like I said, that Knight of Pentacles just, it had me. And then I saw all like the yellows and the greens, and I thought, this might be my thing. Yeah, so the um, some of the reviews on Instagram, um, Instagram, on Amazon said that there was a lot of um, like printing errors and things like that. So I'm just like hoping that these are pristine. Oh, I do like the back. I like this minimalist back. Let's see, I don't know which way we are. So we just have title. I know that a lot of you have seen this. Ooh, the printing looks good, you guys. It's full, the magician. Oh, look at these colors. I mean, I know that you know what it looks like. I'm excited. See, my original Rider weight that I got was, um, oh, these deep colors, was that bright yellow. It came in the bright yellow box with the um, plaid background, the blue and black. And, um, oh, it was so bright. It just was not my favorite. But these are still bright, but with those different colors in there. I'm really digging it. Oh, look at that. It's like a new life. These seem to be really well. My lovely tower. It's the world. See, they seem to be great. I love this color. Okay, now... This one you can see, they were talking about that. I don't know if it'll even, yeah, okay, you can kind of see it where it looks like there's the yellow that can still be seen through. It doesn't bother me though. It's not like terrible, but this background, this color, oh my gosh. This, I love it. <laughs> 
I don't know why. Something as simple as changing one color can make such a difference, but it does. It really does. This is a great card. Now, my favorite Eight of Cups probably comes from the Morgan Greer Tarot. I don't know, it's like deep and rich. It's one of my faves. A beautiful rainbow. I don't know, it's like the dynamic, see yeah, they were talking about these, but it's not so bad. Like you see where it goes over the boots. Like I said, like I ain't mad at it, you know what I mean? But <clears throat> back to what I was saying, like I feel like the dynamic change of the court cards, I just love it. I don't know what it is. Well, I do dig the three of swords in this one. I like that yellow background. Some of these, I mean, they're not all winners. This one is kind of like, meh. But I do kind of dig like the gold sword look. This is one of my favorite swords. I know that's weird. Like, nightmares. Really, Danny? Yeah, really. I really like this card. I don't know. But I do like the, um, the difference. See, like, oh. Just simple color changes. Like, he's all in gold. Makes me think of Jamie Lannister, like, in the gold armor. I just love, I don't know, I just love it. Pentacles, here we go. That green, y'all. I just, look at that. I love, oh, I love this suit with the green. Oh my gosh. Like, all of them are just, perfect to me love it this this is what sold me on this deck just the red knight he's pretty cool too this king of pentacles love it and then the orange backgrounds I don't know. I don't know why I love it so much, but I do. I do. I do. So I'm excited to use these, y'all. I'm not even going to lie. Great page of wands. The knight. I love the queen of wands. The king looks pretty cool, too, but man, that made her super vibrant. I'm excited. <laughs> so... I have um, a lot of distractions today. I have a spread that I want to share with you guys. Hopefully later tonight. Um, I did it yesterday. And I used, it's the shadow self spread. It's like a shadow self conversation. Sorry, I had one out of order. Um, and I used my Druid Craft and my new Herbiary Oracle cards. The combination of them spoke beautifully. Everything was so connected and like one mirrored the other in a way that I've never had two decks kind of like meld together that way and it was a great spread it's like a 10 card spread um but it was fantastic it's like a cell uh shadow self conversation and it was just so interesting it went so well and um i just wanted to share that with you guys so i'm going to try to do that one later this afternoon so maybe two videos today but um, thank you guys for watching. If you 
Um, like my video, I do more of these at, at least once a week with all kinds of other crazy cool stuff. So um, if you like it, give me a thumbs up or subscribe or just come back and see me, you guys. Um, thank you for being there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.